Hey guys, what's up? So I decided to do a concert talk video and I haven't done one of these since the Warp Tour one, I think, and that was like last summer, obviously. So I decided to do one on um, the Neck Deep show I went to while well, it was a co-headliner. Um, it was the AP World Tour, which I think is AP's first world tour, if I'm not mistaken, like their first one where they're actually going to obviously the world. Um, I don't know exactly which countries they went to. I think they went to UK, Australia, Europe, uh, Japan possibly? Um, I really don't remember. And then they did, the, I think the US was the last leg of the tour because I think they did all the countries first. But as a, anyways, it was a co-headliner with um, Neck Deep and State Champs. I pretty much went for Neck Deep. Um, I recently got into them probably like a month or so ago and I'm really not a big pop punk fan but I actually find Neck Deep to be genuinely more outside of the box as far as pop punk music. The openers for this tour was Lake Pacific and Knuckle Puck and the date I went to was March 12th and this was at Paradise Rock Club in Boston, Massachusetts. Also, if you don't know what my concert talks are, they're basically concert reviews. So I decided to go in depth and talk about the concert with you guys. So I've never been to Paradise Rock Club before, and Boston is a bitch to find parking at. If you've ever tried going to a venue in Boston or tried to park anywhere for any type of events in Boston, it's very hard to find parking. This band called Light Pacific opened up, and I believe they are from Ontario, Canada. They were pretty good, although it was kind of hard to enjoy the band because there was this squad of drunk men and they kept following me and one of the guys put their arm around me and was like touching my back and I had like really bad anxiety and it was not a good time so we tried to get away from him as quick as possible. The next band that played was Knuckle Puck. They kind of almost sound like real friends but with in my opinion probably better lyrics than real friends but the lead vocalist has a very similar demeanor as does the real friends singer. It's that same type of whiny-esque vocals, no offense. Oh, I will say you guys got some crazy-ass fans. So then after that, the next band that played obviously was uh, State Champs, and they were one of the bigger bands that people were going to see. They did pretty good. I enjoy a few of their songs. They played a lot of stuff off of their more recent album that came out. They played a song called If I'm Lucky, which is an acoustic track, and that song was amazing. It was just the vocalist out there with his guitar. And uh, if you have not heard that song, it is very good. Really excited for Neck Deep to play. They played a lot of great songs. They had a pretty strong set list. So after he uh, was talking, Neck Deep came out and played. They opened up with Citizens of the Earth, which is the intro song on Life's Not To Get You, which I think was an amazing choice to open up with because that song is so fast-paced, punchy, energetic, and it really got the crowd going. Next they played Losing Teeth, which is off of Wishful Thinking, which is a very good song. They played Gold Steps, which a lot of people were excited for them to play because that's one of their biggest songs off of Life's Not To Get You. And they played Crushing Grief, No Remedy off of the Wishful Thinking album, which I was really stoked for. I love that song. Then they played an older-ish song off of the Rain in July EP, Over and Over. That's, again, one of my favorite songs. I was super happy that they played that one. They played Serpents off of... Life's Not To Get You, which is actually one of my favorite songs off the album. So I was really stoked for that too, and like, great. And like, it was really cool because all the lighting was like green, because like, serpents, get it? Then they played a few more songs off Life's Not To Get You. They played Kali Ma. A lot of people were excited for that song, as well as me, because that's one of their most pumped up, fast-paced songs. And a lot of people went crazy for that song. They played Lime Street, which that song's grown on me a lot lately. Um, so I was really stoked that they played that one. They played Growing Pains, which is another song off of Wishful Thinking. Then they played a couple more older tracks towards the end of the set list. What Did You Expect, which a lot of people were stoked for, because a lot of like die-hard Neck Deep fans really love that song. And they also played A Part of Me, which was like the last 
song, and I put that in quotes, off their set list, which I was really excited for this, them to play this song. Even if people don't know Neck Deep, I'm pretty sure they know this song, and it's just a really simple acoustic track, although it was cool because the whole band kind of went out there and played and did like a little bit of a heavier version of it, which I thought was cool. It was a good sing-along song, like the whole crowd was just singing along to it. Then for their encore songs, they played Head to the Ground, which I didn't expect them to play this song, but this is off of another one of their EPs, uh, History of Bad Decisions, I think. That was just Ben, the lead vocalist out there, playing his guitar, because it's pretty much just a straight up raw acoustic track and that caught me off surprise but I was really stoked that he played that song because that's a really cute song. For the rest of the encore songs they played um, December and they actually had the whole like the full band play December because if you know that song um, off the Life's Not To Get You album it's pretty much just an acoustic track but they did it with the whole band so it was like a kind of upbeat version of the song. Then the last song they played was Can't Kick Up The Roots so I thought it was really cool they kind of ended with a bang and they ended up ended with one of their more energetic amped up songs again. I thought it was a really good way to close the album because they closed with something very strong and upbeat and crazy so a lot of people like went crazy for the last song so it was pretty pretty awesome. Overall I think the flow of their set list was really smart because they had like a portion of all these fast paced songs then they kind of slowed it down a bit really towards the end and then they kind of surprise you again with these upbeat tracks. It was definitely a good experience. That was my first time seeing Neck Deep. I gotta say like if you're a fan of Neck Deep definitely go see them. I feel like the albums don't do justice for like how much fun and energy and passion they have on stage. Um, Ben's voice sounds incredible and it was a really cool experience. State Champs also did a good job but I think Neck Deep definitely is the ones that really stole the show. The merch I got was this shirt and it's I thought it was really freaking rad. It's got like a bunch of hands doing a crazy thing and it's like dark and then it goes to like a lighter ombre effect thing. I, I thought it was really they were the only band I got merch from. And then my ticket I ordered from StubHub, so this doesn't have my name on it, but this is my ticket. Because I got it from StubHub and had to pay like $30 more than if you bought it early. The tour was actually a sold out tour, which is awesome. So overall it was a good show. Um, if you're a fan of Neck Deep, Pop Punk, whatever, go see them play. Like they really brought a presence there and there was crowd surfing and moshing. So comment me down below and let me know if you guys went to this uh, AP World Tour at all and if you saw Neck Deep State Champs or if you didn't go to this tour, do you like Neck Deep? Have you seen them live before or any of the bands that I just named? Um, give me your feedback. Let me know if you want to see me do more of these concert talk videos. I'm definitely going to do one when I go April 17th to the House of Blues in Boston. I am seeing Under Oath for their Rebirth tour, and this is my first time seeing Under Oath. If you didn't know, they're my favorite band. So I'm really stoked for that. Like, I can't tell you how excited I am. It's going to be incredible. So yeah, and then I think for like a, ne a next video, I might possibly do like a cover of a song, maybe by The Fray. Ooh, what could it be? And it's not going to be a popular Radio Fray song, just so you guys know. But I got a capo recently, and um, yeah. And I don't know if you guys saw my new tattoo, but I got a tattoo of the Brand New Eyes album cover. Got that done in like January. I don't think I ever showed you guys it, but it hurt a lot. But it was worth it, because that's my favorite album. Anyways guys, stay brutal, stay tuned for more videos, reviews, etc. Yada yada yada. And uh, see ya later.